Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today, we're gonna to go through the steps on how to create a bootable USB drive for Mac OS Catalina. But before we do that, please remember, as always, to subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, clicking on that notification bell to be kept up to date as I release new videos. So let's just go through this guide right now. So my name is Emilio and I work in IT and I absolutely love it. I love computers and I love my Mac OS computer. I got a Mac sitting right here behind me, it's a MacBook Pro. And if you're watching this, you wanna know how to create a USB bootable drive for Catalina. So you can load Mac OS Catalina, you can plug it into a computer, into a Mac, and then install the operating system from scratch. So we're gonna go through that today. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop onto my computer right now. We already have a running version of Mac OS Catalina, but we're gonna go through the steps on how to create that bootable USB. So let's just get onto that Mac right now. So we're logged in here to our Mac. Uh, this is Mac OS Catalina. Um, but what we need to do is get ourselves a USB stick. Uh, so that we can then go and uh, set up for the Catalina installer. Now, before we even go and do that, the first thing you need to do is actually go and download the Mac OS installer first to be able to then mount it and boot it onto a USB stick. So let's just go ahead and open up um, the App Store. Now you can open up the App Store right from my dock. I've got it right here. Or you can go into the Apple logo at the top and select App Store from here and then you're presented with this screen right here. Now, right in the search area, I'm going to type in here, Catalina, and do a search, all right? So, macOS Catalina has shown up. Now, it depends on what version of macOS you've got running. If you've got an earlier version of macOS, it may uh, display here as get or download. Uh, in my case, because I've already got it, uh, it's going to show up as view, which I'm gonna go and select. Uh, but of course, we want to run a clean install. So we're going to actually need to download the whole operating system. So right from here, we click on Get. Are you sure you want to download macOS Catalina 10.15.5, which is the current version as of this video? We select Download. Now this will take a little bit of time. As you can see, it is 8.23 gig big, which is quite a bit. So we'll let this do its thing. Uh, it says it's estimating two hours based on my internet speed. Uh, yours may be quicker or slower depending on your internet speed. So let's just, uh, through the magic of video editing, come to when it's finished. So the file should now be downloaded and uh, you can actually see that file by going into our finder here, selecting applications and if we scroll down, we're going to see install macOS Catalina. This is the file that we're going to be using. We're gonna open this file up and uh, we then are going to connect our USB stick. So let's get our USB stick. So you will need a USB flash disk. This particular one is a 16 gig. Now, because this is not a USB-C connector and my MacBook Pro is, I'm just gonna be connecting it to a converter. So I can actually run that into the side of my computer. So USB stick has now been connected. You'll see that it's shown up in here. This is called spare. Uh, now be aware that before we really do this, any contents on this USB stick will be completely deleted. So make sure you use a USB stick that you are happy to remove all the contents of. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on this file called install macOS Catalina and select show package contents. This is essentially opening up that installer file. From within here, we're going to navigate to contents, down to resources, and then we've got a file here called create install media. So this is the file that we're going to be using. The next step is now to open up your terminal window. This is essentially a command prompt window that we're going to be using. The easiest way to open this up is to click on the spotlight on the very top right hand corner and type in terminal and press enter. So once terminal has opened up, uh, we now need to type in a command to be able to tell your Mac to create that USB. Uh, drive. So the first thing is we're going to type in sudo, S-U-D-O, and then we're going to navigate to that particular file that we have uh, opened up right here. This is within that uh, installer file. And the easiest way to get that in here is literally to grab it and drag it into the window. You'll see it's automatically going to put the full path in here. We then type in dash dash volume. All right, and now we need to direct it to the actual volume, which is your USB drive. Now, because I've got it right here in my desktop, I can drag it down. If you don't have it in your desktop, you can always go 
down into your locations area and you may have your USB drive listed in here. If you don't have it that way, from the finder, you can also just go into go, go to folder, type in forward slash volume, and you'll also see it listed in here. Okay, now for my purpose, I've got it here on my desktop, so I can just grab it right into there, and you'll see that it's put in forward slash volumes, forward slash spare, and now I click on enter. It's gonna ask me for my administrator password, which you just put in right there. So ensuring that all the data on here will be erased, and if you're happy with that, click on Y to say yes and confirm. The disk is now being erased. This will take a little bit of time. Essentially, it's now formatting it. Say okay, and it's now starting to copy all of the contents of that, uh, of that installer file into the USB and making that USB bootable. So that is now complete. You'll see that it's uh, made the disk bootable. Uh, it's copying the boot files, and now the install media is available at this volume, which is great. So here is my USB stick. It's actually gone and renamed it, and it's now called Install Mac OS Catalina. So really the next step here is I can now dismount this all together. I can say eject, and it's now ready to go. So now I can eject my USB stick, take it out of my computer, and put it into a new Mac, or even the same Mac that we just did this demo on, and boot. So with your Mac powered off, you're gonna hold down the Option key right here, and then power on your Mac while holding the option key until we see the actual screen and your USB drive is detected. So you should see the Apple logo as soon as you power it on, holding that option key. You should be presented with this screen to be able to then click on install Mac OS and then select the little up arrow and that will commence the preliminary installation of Mac OS. So that was it. Hopefully you were able to uh, get Mac OS installed using this USB stick. Comment below, let me know if it was successful for you. But as always, always remember to subscribe to Digital Bike Computing, clicking on that notification bell to be kept up to date as I release new videos. Like this video as well, we'll see you next time.